hit like this, like this side of my face and it was eaten across my face and it was like some contagious disease eating me up. Katie was unaware that a 19-year-old man was pacing up and down her street, waiting for her. As I came out the door, this guy walked towards me in a hoodie, and I really noticed him because his arms were locked, holding this coffee cup. And I started like, trying to get my money out of my bag, and as I did, this guy just went, I wish. I knew it was to do with him, and I knew he said he'd get me and my face and everything. I knew straight away. fun person, um, had lots of friends. Danny Lynch had been following Kate's modelling career and had found her on Facebook to ask her out on a date. I really sort of quite fancied him, you know, and, and the whole like image he portrayed to me I really liked. ringing me constantly and wouldn't leave me alone. You know, he was really angry and swearing at me and, and shouting at me. And... and he was saying, you know, you're not gonna just break up with me this easy, you can't just walk away from me. comes towards me with a hood up and like a coffee cup. So I was like, oh, this poor guy is like begging. So I turned that way to get the money. And then as I turned, he had a full cup of sulfuric industrial strength acid in my face. Kate's life changed dramatically. She spent seven weeks in the Burns unit at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. and they took us in to where Katie was. It was absolutely horrific. The face was completely unrecognisable.
my appearance is a constant reminder of what he did to me and almost like I belong to him because it's not really my face, it's the one he created through the attack. I'll always have like his marks all over my face, all over my body. <laughs> it does feel like two separate lives and you know I, I'm 38 but I sort of feel sometimes in my sort of 70s or 80s. Mm -hmm.